The attack on Nairobi's Westgate Mall put African terrorism front and center again. U.S. President Barack Obama said he's working with African leaders to dismantle terror networks. Nigerian President Goodluck Jonathan said the fight must be united. We maintain that uh, terror anywhere in the world is terror on all of us. And we call on the global leaders to come together and fight terror. Nigeria is fighting Boko Haram terrorists. Some are believed to have trained with Al-Shabaab, the Al-Qaeda affiliate that claimed responsibility for the attack in Kenya. In Africa, terrorism remains largely based on local dynamics, says Africa analyst Jason Mosley. He spoke to VOA via Skype. This is not uh, a signal that Africa has become the new sort of battleground for international terrorism, um, but rather that International organizations like Al-Qaeda uh, Al have found traction for their ideology and methodologies among militant groups with local agendas. West African troops supported by French air power helped drive back Al-Qaeda-affiliated militia in Mali earlier this year. But that's not stopped terrorism in the Sahel, says Senegal's President Macky Sall. The gunmen in Mali are scattered, but the terrorist threat to the Sahel is not over. Only through ongoing coordinated action will we be able to address Africa's emerging security challenges. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon says there are many such challenges. Terrorist acts and transnational organized crime, including arms and drug trafficking, threaten stability. We must particularly be aware the evolution of appeal of radicalism and violent ideology among the region's youth. Recent elections in Mali may have created a base on which to confront terror. The election of President Ibrahim Boubacar Keita is an encouraging sign in a dangerous region, says Burkina Faso President Blaise Compore. The Sahel has become a hideout for drug traffickers and terrorists whose destabilizing influences are a real threat to regional security, even as the International Stabilization Force and presidential elections in Mali have helped restore some order. But with ungoverned areas throughout the Sahel, democratic governance in Mali may diffuse the terror threat, but not eliminate it, says Sarah Margon of Human Rights Watch. If Mali does move forward and restore its democracy, Mali may in a genuine way. Mali may sort of have been able to keep at bay the worst elements, but there are a number of neighboring countries that may be at greater risk in light of uh, a strengthening al-Qaeda affiliate in the region. Al-Shabaab's spread from Somalia to Kenya shows how mobile the threats are. Kenya's cabinet secretary, Joseph Olelenku, says his country is receiving broad international support. From the following country, the U.S., Israel, Britain, Germany, Canada, and other agencies, including Interpol. Terrorism is a global problem, and we welcome international intelligence sharing since it is consistent with the tackling of the problem. UN Secretary General Bond says he trusts those responsible for the Kenya attack will be brought to justice. Scott Stern's VOA News at the United Nations.